Happy, happy Friday, everyone. Good afternoon. It is a gorgeous day here. Still a cold day. All of our snow is melting. Icicles hanging everywhere, dripping. Um, and they are just beautiful, glistening in the sun. But I kind of hate to see it go. We just, you know, hasn't been here long enough. But it is so pretty outside. I am Pam Savage, owner of Young at Heart Creations. And I am going to do a little bit of crafting today, so I thought I'd bring you along with me. Um, as you come on, say hello. Let me know where you're from. If you're new, if you're a first-time watcher, please let me know. We want to give you a special welcome. Give me just a second to get you pulled up here on my iPad so that I can pull up and read comments as we go. We did some Mod Podging yesterday, and uh, that is what we are going to do today. But we're going to do something a little different than what we did yesterday. Yesterday we did it on a block of wood. Today we're going to be using metal. So I've got a metal can. I, I did take the handle off of it so that it would just be a little easier to manipulate. And then we've got just a plain old coffee can. It's the, um, the large one, large coffee can. So I'm going to show you a couple of tips for doing that. We're going to be putting um, napkins on them. So look how pretty and springy those are. I just love, love, love the colors in it. So I've been doing a few things with brighter colors than what I normally do lately. So um, let's see if I can get you on here. Young at Heart. Uh, I know everybody else has been having trouble getting comments to come up. Facebook has not been cooperating. It's been making it a little difficult for us. So let me get, I'm going to get out of it and then get back in and see if we can get it, get it pulled up here. So what are you doing on this pretty day? I know a lot of people that are north and east of us are uh, just now getting the snow and ice that we've gotten uh, over the last couple of days. So it's been kind of an icy, more ice than snow. Okay, I can see my live, but I'm not seeing any comments yet. Technology and I do not get along. We are not friends. Just so you know that, we are not friends. There we go. Okay, hi Cindy. Hi, is it Doris? Is that how, is that how you pronounce your name? Okay, I haven't seen that name. Now, I might have just missed it, but uh, if you're new, welcome, welcome. I typically paint live with you on Tuesday evenings at 6.30, but I've been trying to catch up on some things and get some things done, so I thought I would just bring you along with, for the ride. So today we're going to be Mod Podging some napkins on, this is just a metal bucket from Dollar Tree. Darice. Yay! Okay, I got it right. Darice, is this your first time watching? Hi, Lynn. Okay, so we're going to be Mod Podging. I'm going to go ahead and get two of them base coated. Anytime I'm doing cans with napkins, um, Mod Podging. Now, you may want to put a color behind your napkin to bring out a, a color, but just know that whatever color you put in the background, on the background that you're going to be adhering it to, that's the color that's going to come through. So um, that will be your dominant color. If you want the true colors of the napkin to show through, you want a very, very light uh, background, like an off-white, antique-white, or white. I'm going to be using white today. Okay, Doris, you watched a replay earlier today. That was your first time. Well, thank you. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I actually got three new followers today, so that was exciting. Um, Anytime I get one, it's like a kid opening a Christmas present, you know, oh, there's one more present under the tree for you. So I so much enjoy seeing a new follower in. I hope you enjoy what we're going to do today. I mostly paint on, on wood and children's furniture, but I like to spice it up a little bit and do some things different every now and then because I'm also learning. So as I learn, I like for you to learn with me. Okay, so this napkin, and not all napkins have four separate pr 
prints. Some of them will have like a print here and a print here and it'll be blank on here or some other kind of pattern. This one, I mean, this one happens to have four on each one. So we're going to use both of these on the same um, thing today, metal. I uh, do have metal paint, but I'm just going to be using, uh, this is Delta Ceram Coat. I love their white. It covers really well. So um, just acrylic paint is all we're going to be base coating them in. I'm going to go ahead and get those base coated, and then while we're going to set those aside and let them dry. While they're drying, we will work on the napkins and get them prepared. So one other thing I will tell you is when you save your cans, vegetable cans, I have all size cans, but when you save your cans, go ahead and cut the label off of it. Try to get at least, you know, this much, um, three or four inches of the label itself. That way you can measure exactly how tall of a napkin you need to be or how much you need to cut off of a, a napkin if it's too large. Um, so I do save these off of a can. Now this one, I just saved this one because all the coffee cans I use are the same size. So I know that this is going to be perfect for that. Uh, and of course on a bucket, you're not gonna have that, but any of your vegetable cans, anything that has a label on it, try to save enough of the label to measure uh, whether it be scrap paper, napkin, whatever. That way you've got an exact pattern of how tall it is between the ridges in the can. So that's a nice little tip to help you that has helped me. So we're just going to go ahead and put a nice base coat of white on both of these. Now today we're going to be Mod Podging the napkins on here, but you can paint directly on, uh, on the metal as well. I've got some... Uh, called Outdoor Living Paint that I get at Hobby Lobby that is great for metal. Really, really good for metal. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and get my chip brush out. And I'm just gonna use my good old trusty, I love, love, love this base coating brush. It's plaid brand and it's um, one and a half inch flat. I'm getting the moisture out. And I've just poured a healthy amount of white on here. And I'm going to bring you down. Hi, Dana. You're listening since you're driving. Okay, well, drive safely, especially if you're anywhere where there's snow and ice. So I'll try to talk loud enough that you can hear me. Cindy says, you always have the prettiest napkins. I love them. I'm, I'm obsessed. I have to actually be careful, or I, I can overdo <laughs> with the, the napkins. But they're so, so pretty. Um. I find that everybody was asking yesterday, where do you get your napkins? I've gotten lots of messages since yesterday's uh, live. And anywhere and everywhere. Um, when we go on vacation and we go shopping in an antique shops um, or any little novelty shops, I always look for napkins and I've found so many that way. But normally I get them on, um, let's see, Tuesday morning has pretty napkins, but just Look anywhere you go, you'll start looking for them and you'll notice them more than you used to. But most of mine I get um, I get online. Hi, Vicki. Thanks for hopping on. I appreciate it. So most of my napkins come online. And when I go online, and it took me a while to figure it out, I started asking everybody, where do you get your napkins? And um, I just go to Google and I Google decorative paper napkins for decoupage and bukus will come up. And normally it will take you to mostly Etsy because there are a lot of uh, vendors on Etsy that sell napkins. Some of them sell them by the package. A lot of them will sell them individually. Like this one napkin would be a dollar, two dollars, you know, whatever it is. So you have to watch for that. I do have a company that I really like. It's called Paper Style, P-A-P-E-R. S-T-Y-L-E designs.com. So paperstyledesigns.com. They have a lot. <clears throat> but just Google it on um, on Google. And that's, um, be sure you put paper, decorative paper napkins for decoupage. And they come in all different sizes. This is a luncheon size. This is a, I think they're six by six. Yes, closed, it's six by six. And these are perfect for the um, 3D blocks or the uh, canvas blocks that I do, the chunky canvases. They're perfect for that. So you want either dinner or lunch, typically are the larger ones. 
uh, cocktail are they're small they're like a three by three um, which you know you can use the little bird that I used yesterday was off of a cocktail napkin that was the size of it so just be aware of what you're getting size wise and um, you know you may can use a little bit off of the napkin up here cut it and use it on something else later if you have border left over um, but I will also warn you to be careful when you're ordering on Etsy because um, a lot of vendors require that you order a certain amount in order to get a, a decent shipping price. Um, like for instance, the other day I was going to order a napkin. Um, and I think it was two napkins and the napkins came to like $3, but the shipping they were going to charge me was $18. So I didn't want to buy $3 worth of napkins and pay $18 worth of shipping. So you have to be really careful and, and just really read and watch, um, you know, what you're, what you're purchasing, read their details on it. And I understand these poor vendors, you know, shipping and everything's just crazy right now with the world we live in. And, and they have to charge and cover their costs as well. But there are those out there that um, charge a very minimal shipping fee or they don't charge it at all they you know they cover that in their cost or or they make it up on something else that they do so so just be aware of that um so let's go ahead and get our base coating done so that we can get busy on the napkins and um i've already wiped these off so you just want to make sure that they're dust free you can take a, a clean brush and wipe them off that way if you want to now this this particular one you can see has ridges in it so we'll want to really uh, pounce that napkin down you're gonna have where the label was glued on there you're gonna have that on there you just can't get it completely off just get it as clean as you can and then don't worry about it we're gonna cover it up anyway all right so we're just going to and it doesn't have to be a solid solid background you just want enough to where the white is going to be the dominant color through your your napkin just cover up where the napkin is going to be i'm going to go ahead and do the ridge at the bottom and the ridge at the top you'll have to let it dry before you put a second coat on and we may not even need a second coat it just depends let me pull you down here just a little bit just depends on how well it covers. And again, this is just um, acrylic, just your plain acrylic paints. And we will be Mod Podging over this. So the paint will get sealed. Now we may have to dry it here in a minute um, with the hair dryer to, sp or to speed it up with the, the dryer. If you do that, warning, 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 warning. This is metal and it gets hot and it will burn you. It gets hot so fast when you're um, trying to dry the paint or the Mod Podge. So just remember that so you don't burn your hand because I have two or three times before I finally got smart and realized, hey, okay, that gets hot fast. Keep it moving. Okay, and I'm just going to smooth it out. And you do need to let it dry um, before you put another coat on, or you're just going to be moving wet paint around. Okay, so I'm going to set that one over here. Let it be dry, and we'll go ahead and be base coating this one. I thought it'd be better just to go ahead and do two at once, and we'll have, we'll be one ahead. Hi, Sheila. Oh, yes, the napkin shopping online, <laughs> Cindy, is uh, almost as addictive as Hobby Lobby is. There, you can just do so much with them. The, uh, the little chunk blocks, the chunk canvases, chunky canvases that I did um, for the craft show that we had in, in November, it was one of my biggest sellers. I sold so many of them. Now this is, oops, this doesn't have to be perfect on here. All right, I'm gonna use my Lazy Susan that I've got sitting here that I'm not using. 
should be using. Honestly, I forget about it. Okay, and I'm covering that bottom ridge as well. So with the Lazy Susan, we don't have to worry about it getting too hot on our hands. I've got a seam here that um, I'm covering. Okay, you can see that seam right there where the can, not a label, but where the, the tin itself was put together, was uh, fused. So I'm covering that up. Now, I've never put a napkin on this bucket. I've painted several of them, but I have not Mod Podge, so I don't know what the shape's going to actually do. I don't typically do round um, items because you can only see one side of it at a time, and that bugs me like a crooked picture. I want to see the whole project. <laughs> so, all right, I'm going to flip it over and do this edge up here. And I will, even after I Mod Podge, I will also do my spray sealer on it just to be, because it is metal. Now, I will say that the outdoor living paint that, um, once you put it on, it just, it does not come off. It just does not come off at all. Okay, so I'm going to dry this just a little bit, and then we're going to put a second coat on it. Thank you, Vicki, for sprinkling. I appreciate that so, so much. This is nice. I don't have to worry about it burning me this way. Now, you can use these to put your kitchen utensils in. You can do a flower arrangement in it. Paint brushes. I mean, a teacher's desk. So you could decorate it any way you wanted to. I've decorated them with, I've painted Christmas trees on them and used them at Christmas. I would put a little tree in it with lights. So there's just so many different things that you can do. Uh, be really cute in a baby's room to put things in. Okay, let's go ahead and get a second coat on this one. You want to let it cool down for just a minute. It is hot. So we'll kind of fan it around here a minute. Okay, I think we're good. Okay, so I'm just going to put a light second coat on it, and you can see the difference in it. Even when, you know, like you're painting a wall at your house, the first coat always looks terrible, and you think, what was I thinking? You know, this looks awful. It's so streaked, and it's just not covering well. Second coat always goes on so much smoother, and your coverage starts to show. You just want to make sure you get the first coat good and dry so that you're not pushing wet paint around. Okay, see the difference? There's the first coat. There's the second coat. And we don't have to have full coverage on this since we're going to be putting a napkin over it. Now, if you were painting it uh, and going to be painting something on it, you would want to be more aware. You might have to put a third coat on it. Just smooth it out so you don't have any drips, any bubbles. And until you get it sealed, now this paint will scratch off. So you want to protect it until you get, get the Mod Podge on. <clears throat> okay, 
A lot of people don't like using Mod Podge. I really enjoy it. And I'm just now getting to where I can say Mod Podge. I always want to call it Mod Podge. Okay, I think we've got good enough coverage on that. And the napkin that we're using is a pretty busy napkin, so pattern will help cover a lot of that. Okay, um, this one's not completely dry, so let's go ahead and dry it with our hair dryer. It's not actually a hair dryer, it's a craft heated craft tool and I love it. It's so much quieter than a regular hair dryer. This one's got a sticker on it. It says imported. It says imported by USA. So yay. Uh, in Canada. That's where it was made. Definitely need a second coat. Looks like I'm making a cake. Like I'm getting ready to ice a cake. I don't do the bottom of them. It's not going to show, so it, it doesn't matter. Okay, that should be good enough on that. Just a second here. Let's go ahead and be drying this one. We'll work on this one a minute while that was drying. I try to make, if I've got enough, I try to always make at least two of everything. I hate to offer just one. Sometimes it's not possible. But I made two of the bird Mod Podges that we did yesterday. One of them's already gone. I decided to keep one for myself. And the other one is already spoken for. All right, and I'm being very careful. I'm just holding the center of it with my hand and not letting the hot metal touch me. Okay, so I think we're good to go on that one. But let's go ahead and get our second coat on this one. Then we'll set it aside and let it be drying while we do our napkin. We'll start our napkin on the first one. You know, a little more paint. The handle, I'm, I'm not going to paint the handle. I took the handle off. So I may do something special with it or may just leave it, you know, like it is. But it will be very easy to put back on. But it would be hard to get the napkin on with it on there. So the holes are in the, the side here both sides so I'll be able to tell where I need to poke a hole for the napkin. Because we'll be able to see it from the inside. I 
would show you one of the other ones that I did, but I don't think I can get to it. And I just painted some spring flowers on it, all different shapes, and colors. Okay, so I think I've got that covered well. Okay, so I'm gonna put my brush in the water and let it be soaking a little bit. And we will set this one to the side. I'm just gonna scoop the whole thing over there and we'll let it be dry. Okay, so now for the napkin. Yay! All right, that's good and dry. So, I like to get a napkin that runs like this so that it's a lot easier to put around, but we're just going to kind of piece these together. I'm going to go ahead and cut it because remember we have four panels. You always want to read on the package and find and see how many plies they are. And I believe if I was correct that this one was a three ply. I've done it enough that I'm used to it. Let's see, we could. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna cut that one down the middle. No, I'm not gonna cut yet. Let me grab another one here. So I'll use that on a smaller one. I want it to go as long as it will. So this particular package had, I think 20 napkins in it, so 20 times four. You get 80, 80 panels in it. So you can do a lot with that. And I don't have the package in front of me. I've already taken them out of the package, but I'm pretty sure it was, it was um, that they were three ply. But we'll see. Okay, so I want to see where to cut. See, this is too tall for the can. It's taller than the can. It's about an inch taller and we've got a lot of border down here so I'm going to cut some of the border off because I don't want to lose any of the birdhouses I want the birdhouses to show so I'm going to take it from the top ha! we're going to take it from the top <laughs> hit it <laughs> all right y'all I've been cooped up in the house too long okay so I'm going to use this that came off of that can I'm going to let's go ahead and fold it so we just have to measure on one panel and then just cut once and I'm going to go just below it so that's how wide our how tall our can is so we're going to cut right just below that. Now, typically you would say, okay, scraps, throw it away. But I'm not gonna throw that away. I can use that on so many other things. So I have a drawer that's just for scraps in my napkin, my napkin keeper, napkin holder. Okay, and let's see if it fits. Okay, so let's do the other one. Now we've already used our measure, um, our pattern here, our template from the can label, so I can just use this one and cut it exactly the same size. So 
So we're going to get our matte, um, matte Mod Podge. Hi, Rhonda. Hi, Marie. Happy Friday to everybody. Hi, Miss Jean. Okay, so we've put two coats of paint on. It's good and dry. We've dried it. So now we're going to put our Mod Podge on. I'm going to start where the seam is on the can. Okay, and there's the seam. So we're going to start right there. And that way we'll know where we stopped and started. Making sure on this one, I have to make sure that I get it down in those ridges because it's got deep ridges in it and I want to do it quickly so that it doesn't dry on me before I get all the way around and we're going to be putting the napkin in beside inside the ridges the top and bottom ridges You can make the napkin tall enough that you can just fold it over. Okay, and here's my starting point. But you could fold it over the bottom and fold it over the top if you want. I just find it easier to stay within the ridges, the top and bottom ridge. Okay, I'm gonna set that aside. Now, very, very important. Remember we talked about all those plies? You want to make sure and get those plies off. You only want the top layer. So there's one, two, peeling two off. It's very satisfying, like peeling wallpaper off. Now that one had something sticky and it tore right in the middle of that one. But I'm not worried about it. We'll be fine. But they are very fragile once you get those bottom layers off. Okay, I'm going to make sure that there's not a, another one just to be safe. And there's not. Okay, so again, I'm going to start at the seam. Try to do this so you can see. Okay, so I'm going to get it right there underneath that ridge. And just pat it down. Measure by that top ridge of the can. To keep it just under the top. And it'll want to start going down on you. So just lift it back up. You're going to have wrinkles on these. There's just no way that I know of around it. Now this one with the ridges is a little trickier because those ridges do take up a little bit of the, the napkin. Okay, so we've got our first one on there. We need to go ahead while it is still wet and really pounce it down. Kind of pounce from the middle outwards just to get those air bubbles out. And I know there are, a lot of people do not like the wrinkles. Um, I love the wrinkles. I just think it gives it texture. 
But now I can see where there are some, some instances where you would not want them at all. And there is a way, a process that you can iron. I don't know that you could iron it on this metal. I don't know, I've just never done it. Making sure there wasn't another one hiding in there somewhere. And there's not. Okay, so I'm going to add a little more Mod Podge where they're going to connect. And actually, we're only going to need probably one of the panels. I'm going to try to start it. I'm going to go ahead and cut some of this white out here. So where this one's going to start, there's the green one that ends. So then it goes to this one. So I'm going to cut right down past that green one just to kind of connect them up a little better. All right, I'm trying to get this where you can see it, but I have to see it at the same time, so. Okay, and just pull it. Keeping it right in that, in underneath that bottom lip and right in top of that right under the top one and above the bottom one now if we just mod podge this one right over that one it's going to show through here so you're going to see all these other bird houses so you want to take your scissors and where this one stops or starts, just cut right, just barely past that. So you don't have any can showing. I'm gonna save that. I might wanna use that birdhouse or those flowers on something. So I don't throw any of my scraps away. And then I'm just going to put some Mod Podge under there to make sure that it sticks. Get it good and pounced down. Especially in those crevices, the ridges of the can. Got a little sticking up here, so I want to get some more glue underneath that. Let it dry just a little bit while we're working on the other one but look how pretty that is now you can come in here and paint some colors if you wanted to um, I've got some butterflies that I could cut out from another one 
and put on here that are a little bit larger. Let me let me grab those right quick and see if we want to use one. These may be too big. But, well, there's some small ones. Now this I bought one napkin. It was a dollar eighty, I think. And it came off of Etsy. But it's nothing but um, butterflies. Look at all the different colored butterflies that it's got on it. Isn't that pretty? So we, we're not going to want one that's very large. Okay, so here's some. Just going to cut around it. And then we'll trim it up a little bit. So I'm being careful not to cut any of the other butterflies around it. So the seam I'm going to put at the back. So here would be your front, and it's pretty, it's got quite a bit on it. So right here is a big blank space that I think we'll, we'll put one, and then we might put one right here. So I'm going to go ahead before I separate it, and just cut just around the shape of it. Now yesterday we did this. And we pulled around the edges. We did not cut. We wet them just around the edges and then pulled it out. Tiny, tiny. But you can Mod Podge over the one napkin that's already on there you can just you can add to it like we did the little bird yesterday we just took two different napkins and used a little bit from each one okay now remember even though you've cut these you still got those plies this one is probably a two to three ply okay it looks like it's a two ply Sometimes they come off immediately. Sometimes you have to work with it a little, little bit. Okay, so we've got two tiny little butterflies that we're going to put. This one's got a little more color in it. And let's just stick this color from, we're going to stick it right, right here in this spot. So let's get some Mod Podge on there. down in that ridge. Okay, and then let's stick this little guy. We'll put him right here. Sticking to my finger. So let's let that one dry now. Look how pretty. Instantly. Instantly you have. Now this is puckering just a little bit, so I need to smooth that out just a little. But that's where I just put, it wasn't completely dry. And I put that, um, my fingers on it and lifted it up. 
Okay, we're going to leave it just like that because I'm going to mess it up with my sticky fingers. Isn't that pretty? Now a lot of your napkins is going to have less white and more of a color uh, background. So you, there's just no end to what you can do with them. Okay, so let's go ahead and do the same thing with this one. Now this one I don't have a label because it's just a can. So not much of the, sh uh, the flowers are going to show on this one. Let me see where we need to cut it. And this one tapers in. It's not like the can, so it'll be a little trickier getting it on there just got to be patient with it okay so there's my measurement Same thing on this one. Now I had already cut that one, so we decided not to use that one. Let's see, this one may not be quite as big around. We might can just use a third one and be done with it. Start at the seam and see how far around this one comes. Okay, we will need some of both. So let's go ahead and cut this one. And we may need to do a little trimming after we get it on, but that's fine. always cut some off take some off it's harder to put it back on so let's go ahead before I forget because it is so easy to forget to remove those plies just getting my fingers a little damp okay that was only one ply that came off still pretty milky back here I can see that there's another ply This would be really cute with, after you get it Mod Podge to glue, y'all know I've got all colors of buttons. It would be really pretty to put, um, put some buttons on it. Okay, now both plies of that, I mean that came off, both of them came off at the same time. Okay, so let's get some Mod Podge on. And again, I'm going to start at the seam. Now you know you're going to what you're doing with some of the napkins you gave me. Thank you, my friend. <laughs> you are very welcome. So welcome. There's just so many things that you can do with them. Um, I don't typically save the real small cans, but. Um, I do save the larger vegetable cans and uh, the large, uh, my husband, thankfully, 
the coffee he drinks comes in that large, large can. And I really like those because you can put hair brushes, makeup brushes, paint brushes, uh, pens, pencils, rulers for a teacher's desk. Just about anything in them. On here pretty thick because it takes a minute to get that napkin around there and I don't want it to be dry. Smooth it out at the ridge. Okay, and we're back where we started. So I got a section here. So I'm going to start at the seam. This one has a very prominent seam. Smooth that out a little bit. Should have turned my fan off. This is so much easier on a flat surface. Oops. So just kind of pull it gently, get it under that top lip first, and then work it down. Be very careful because it, it will tear. Got a little torn spot there where it came loose when we were separating it. I'm just going to cover right over that hole where the handle goes back in because I can go from the inside and poke it through. Just kind of pull your design out there. Do you have to lift this up a little bit? Oh. Right under that ridge. All right, now this one tore. So I'm just going to go ahead and peel it off. This one's a little bit harder because of the shape of it. It's not as straight. It is a cylinder. It gets skinnier at the end. So it is a little different. I haven't done one of these yet. So you're learning with me. So I'm going to lift it up, bring it down a little bit, and it's sticking to my thumb. Let me wipe my hand off a little. I'm going to get it dry. Is anything wet? It's going to pull on it. Let's put a little Mod Podge under it. Okay, now I've got some hanging off the end, but that's fine. We will just take our emery board and sand that off. Okay, this one's a little challenging with the shape of it. So right now I'm just pouncing those bubbles out. Okay, I'm going to add a little more Mod Podge just to make sure it's still good and sticky. And we'll cover 
we'll meet with our other napkin over that one just to make sure that it covers up. Okay, so we're going to cover just, sorry, my fan's blowing it. Let's get it just right there on the tip of it. the best thing to do is to come down over it because of the angle of this. Pull it just a little. It's kind of like working with toilet paper. It is so fragile. The coffee can was much, much easier. But we are going to stick with it and not give up. Okay, I want you to see how it's really, it is just so hard getting it on that diagonal. I guess you would call it diagonal, where the can shrinks as you get to the bottom. If it were material, you would be kind of, um, kind of pleating it, I guess you would call it. to the other side. Now, see how I've got lots of space up here, but it's coming over here, and that's because of the, the way it tapers in, the can tapers in. So I'm gonna put a little more glue And we'll see what we end up with. Top looks great, but when you're having to pleat it down at the bottom, it really makes some wrinkles. Once we get it all pounced on and the excess taken off of the bottom, I think it's going to be just fine. Miss Tracy with Miss Tracy Creates may have a solution to that. Okay, but it's still turning out cute. Okay, so I'm, gonna, I'm going around all the way around and 
putting a top coat on it. Typically you should wait until it dries just a little bit. But we're going to go ahead for time's sake and put it on this one. I'm making sure to get up around that ridge where the paint is and the bottom ridge. This is where it meets, and this one overlaps, so I don't want to go this way with it. I want to go away from that edge where it meets so as not to lift it up. Okay, don't know that I would sell this one in a craft show, being the first one to do on this shape. Um, it's definitely got some places to correct. Never even took that into account when I thought about putting a napkin on this shape. Okay, so we're going to let that sit and dry. And then we'll trim it up. Okay, this one's drying nicely. This one was so much easier. So I'm going to go ahead and put a top coat on it. Now again, you could uh, paint some things in here. You could add some more little things. Um, you could paint more flowers, you could add more of the border if you wanted to add a little more border on it. You could add anything that you wanted to on there. Let's go ahead and put a second coat on it. Let me find my seam. There it is. Now that I've got that first coat on there, the second coat goes on so much easier. Love, love, love the colors in this. So springy. Just looks happy. You want to get it covered really well. See a place there that didn't stick down. So we're going to get underneath that. this you will not pounce. You only pounce the first uh, first layer. Sorry, all y'all are seeing is the bottom of the can. It's kind of hard to hold at an angle where you guys can see it. sure and get a good coat over where we added the butterflies. Okay, I think we've got everything covered. Let's give it a good dry. Ashley. All right, now that um, Mod Podge goes on very milky. Whoops, sorry, I didn't mean to bump you out of the way. Get this on here. Goes on very, very milky, but it dries really, really clear. 
And you don't want to hold it in one place too long when you're drying it or it will start bubbling up. I know, Marie. I've done that a couple of times now. I forget to separate the, the plies and then put it on there and get it all sealed. And then all of a sudden, my picture starts coming off. And I realize I did not peel the extra layers off. It will not work. You have to do that. Ashley, are you enjoying your new studio? I'm jealous. It looks like so much fun and so quiet. What's the size on it? It looks huge. Ashley, is your hubby feeling better? Just, you just need to move your bed in there. <laughs> 12 by 20. That's the size we have. But it's not my uh, studio or she shed. It's for the lawnmower and Christmas. I like my little room, though. My room is 11 by, 11 by 10. With the Murphy bed. With the treadmill. That I am using now, by the way. Now, you don't have to dry these this way. You can just set them aside and let them dry. But I just wanted you to see how quickly it starts turning clear. The colors are not showing up as vibrant on camera as they are here, but it is so pretty. Okay, so that's not completely dry, but you can see how the colors are starting to, to pop. Now again, some napkins have a uh, different colored background. You wouldn't see so much white on it. Just all depends on the napkin, but you still want to paint your background white unless there's a specific reason you're needing a color on it. Now this one's got quite a bit on it. Honestly, I don't think I will do one of the buckets again. If I do a bucket again, I will paint the bucket that if it's not a straight up and down, because it is hard to taper it down. Uh, I will cut around like we did on our nest and our bird yesterday. I will cut around the shapes and just put the shapes uh, here and there on it. Paint the background the color I want it. Paint it white where the napkin's gonna go. And then we'll put, um, on this one, we'll put the little handle back in. Makes a cute little gift basket. Move that down a second. Move that back in. All of that that's on the edge there, I will go through with an emery board, just like you use on your fingernail, and sand it off after it's good and dry. Okay, so I'm going to let this one finish air drying. But you can see how cute it's going to be. And get that light. Isn't that pretty? You could even fill it with the um, 
Oh, not raffia. I don't know what. It looks like uh, bird nest. Uh, fill it with this. Put some pretty eggs in it and a bird sitting in it. Um, there's just so many things. You could roll up little washcloths and put in here. Utensils, makeup brushes. Uh, it could be a neat um, paintbrush holder. I mean, you could just put paintbrushes in it. Just about anything. Cute little Easter egg pails if you were to paint them. So I need to go through here and stick a hole in where the handle goes. I'll just poke through that. In fact, I can do that right now with one of my little daughters. Okay. And then this one. All right, and that handle will just fit right on there. So that would be our front. And then all around to the back. And we'll just, um, it's too wet right now to uh, take that emery board and get it off. It's still just really too wet. It's sticking to my thumbs when I touch it, so I don't want to bother it because it is still pretty wet. But there you go, in like 30 minutes, you've got two really cute little baskets that you can do, and there's just no end to the napkins, um, you know, that you can get to do these. I do prefer the straight up and down cans. I mean, this one turned out, but we had to work with it a little bit. Um, but it is cute. A little harder to do, but oh my goodness, there's just no end to what you could, could do. I've got so many adorable napkins. I would be pretty. I've got some just floral ones that would be pretty to um, just do floral. But you can make them personalized. I mean, for like teachers, nurses, you can. There's napkins that have stethoscopes and and what band aids and things on them. You could do for uh, any anyone, and it's something that you've already got in your house in your pantry, all different sizes. I um. The, the small ones are great for pencil holders. Let me see if I've got one over here. I don't know if I've got rid of all of them, sold them all yet or not. Okay, I don't have any made up. They, they've already all sold, but this size is a good one. I get um, in this size, Let's see, the mixed vegetables, the, the chunky mixed vegetables come in this one. It's a great size to do. The cocktail napkins, I think, fit it really good. But it doesn't matter, like what we just did. You can cut it down to size. What we've got left over here, I've got just enough and just, I think, one section that we cut off. I think we'll cover it completely. Yes. So I don't want to waste this one, so I will put it on here. But if you don't paint it white first, you're gonna that silver is gonna come through on it. So with that scrap piece that I saved, don't throw your scraps away. There's another can, and um, you know how pretty will that be? I try to put it. I try to put the seam of my napkin where the seam of the can is. Let's see. On this one, though, I would suggest so that you get your print in the front, make the opposite of the seam the front. Just make sure that you get your seam in the front of the can. So there you go. Out of one napkin, we got three cans. Let's see. One and a half napkins. So one and a half napkins. We got uh, three cans out of these. So these, these I sell for 15. These are 10. And this one, um, I don't know yet. I haven't, because I've not done one of these yet, I don't know what. I'm gonna have to look at it after I get it sanded and see if it meets my approval. If it doesn't meet my approval, it does not go on the shelf for sale. So um, here's a tiny little bird. 
there and you would think what would you do with that you would be surprised what you can do with those little pieces so put that in your scrap pile okay so that's well that's three days in a row that I've gone live with you yay <laughs> don't forget to sprinkle I would appreciate it very much and uh, also remember that Tamara Bennett is having a live in Dallas in July I have the link uh, if you go onto my page that's the first thing that comes up as far as posts and it's going to be so much fun. But we're going to be doing stuff. You will be decoupaging napkins with the queen of decoupaging and mod podging. She is just amazing with what uh, she does with, with this technique. And uh, that's Miss Tracy with, I think her last name's Pounds, I think. I'm not sure. But with Miss Tracy Creates, you can go on her page and watch. And she will be there. She's one of the presenters. I will be there presenting. It'll be two days non-stop fun there will be 12 presenters you will go into 12 different rooms um, and each room is going to have a different project that you will do they have it all scheduled out there'll be photo time time to eat and talk together and you'll just get to meet all the ladies and there's supposed to be like 200 uh crafters there i've gone to both of her lives that she's had and i'm telling you they are incredible so if you have any questions about it at all let me know um I just, I save all year uh, to go to her lives. You know, I put back here and I put back there just so that I can go to her lives. That's how much fun they are. But I hope you learned something from this today. Uh, you learned that, you know, not everything turns out exactly like you think it's going to, but it did turn out really pretty in the end. Now, this one has a few more wrinkles than normal because I've never tapered one down. Um, if you sew, you know that it, that's a little hard to do. If you upholster, you know you've got to, you've got to make some folds and things. Well, this, you can't, I don't know how to do folds with that. So, but it did turn out, it did turn out. It turned out really cute, I think anyway. And we're just going to clean it up down here after it's dry enough. And I'll sand that off. And then we've got another little container you can do just about anything with. What a cute way to put a gift in it. Now you can also paint the insides of them if you wanted to. Um, you know, or put cloth in there. There's just so many things you can do with them. Okay, ladies, I'm going to go fix for supper. Last night we had tacos and Spanish rice. Tonight I am going to fix... Um, hi, Kimberly. Hubby's good. Yay, Ashley. Yay, yay, yay. Um, tonight I'm fixing a big old stew, a vegetable stew with cornbread, and then I'm going to make a big old salad to go with it. So I wish you were all here to have supper with me. Wouldn't that be fun if we could all get together and just paint all day and then have supper uh, together at night and talk about what all we've painted and what all we've done? Guess what? You can in July at Tamara's Live. We'll all be there and we're all going to have so much fun. But anyway, thank you so much. I don't know if I'll get to get on here tomorrow. I'm not sure what we're doing. Tomorrow is Saturday. Is that right? Yes, Saturday. <laughs> I've lost my days. Anyway, so I'm not sure what we're doing for the weekend, but if I craft something, you'll be on here with me. Thanks, guys. Thanks so much for watching, and please sprinkle the video. I got three more followers today. That is wonderful for me. I just, that makes my day every day, and thank y'all for all the sweet comments that you've been sending. So, thank you, thank you. I'm going to clean up this mess and figure out what the next one is. All right, thanks, guys. Bye-bye.